Hello and welcome to another Yeldy Battle Reps Hobby Report. This one's showcasing the Age of Sigmar Disciples of Tzich Army that I've built. Uh, there's the unboxing video that came before this. I've now built them all and I'm going to talk through a little bit about what it was like building them and how I think I'm going to paint them and how I feel about the models as they are. So I'm going to go kind of unit by unit. You'll see in the background I've got some ones that I've clearly built before. I started painting them as a war shrine, mutilith, cockatrice and soul grinder. Um, and the screamers I'd already built and painted. So just to cover those briefly, these were all, again, nice easy one, ones to build. Um, these are painted. In a, in a typical to each blue, which is a scheme that's going to go through most of the armies. You can see I've started the Soul Grinder, he's blue. Start the Cockadrice, blue, blue, blue. And these pink slash blue horrors. Now the reason these are blue and not pink is because I originally started painting them for my Warhammer Fantasy army and I wanted them to be blue in that because there was no there was no distinction. And now that I'm using the Ranger Sigma, I still want to paint these 10 blue because I like the scheme, and I'm going to do these 10 pink. They'll still all be essentially pink horrors, but it'll just be fun to have a unit that's both pink and blue. So I'm going to start with these ones then. So these ones are going to be pink. I don't exactly know how I'm going to paint them yet. Uh, when I've worked out a scheme, I think I'll probably do a painting video for them as well. Um, that should be quite simple, I think. I'm not going to spend too much time painting pink horrors. Same with the, the little blue horse at the front. I'm going to paint these guys exactly the same that I've painted these ones. So this guy here, it's a finished one. Blue horrors, so these guys will be painted in that colour scheme. Brimstone horrors. These were some of the easiest ones to put together. They're just one piece. So they were a doddle to cut them off, cut off the bits and pieces and then glue them down. They were nice and easy. Um, same with these guys, most of them came in sort of one or two pieces, they were easy to put together, easy to glue down. All nice light pieces of plastic so it wasn't difficult. These guys are basically going to be yellow and orange. Yeah, I don't want to be too complicated, they don't last very long on the pitch, on the pitch, on the battlefield. Um, moving back, got the flamers. Again, these ones square bases, these ones I built before, again they were easy to build. They're going to be kind of oranges and yellows as well. Um, I don't want the whole army to be blue, I think that'd be a bit dull. So I'm going to go with yellow and orange for them as well. And a bit of red and a bit of white and other etc. colours in there. Skyfires. These are so fun to build. These discs are so cool. These are great models, great models to build and they fitted together perfectly as well. Um, I hadn't really played or bought Games Workshop products for quite a long time and I'd forgotten just how well they glue together. It's lovely to see that you don't have those little plastic, little clear plastic sticks anymore. It's all part of the model. So, like the Sangor over here, which are also really nice to build, they're going to be coloured in a in sort of, I guess, a stereotypical light blue. Um, I'll put some other colours in them. I like the discs, sort of yellows and oranges as well, to add a bit of variety. We'll have plenty of metals in there as well. But essentially it's going to be blue, but just a lighter colour blue. Um, I'm going to move round again. Caracacolites. These were actually, my, I think these were probably my favourites. I just had nothing to say. I think I just said the scar piles were favourite. These were great fun to build. Um, I kind of didn't realise how cool they looked until I built them. So dynamic. I'm going to do them. The clothes are going to be, I think, light blue as well. Uh, or grey. You might do the clothes grey. And the shields I'll do light blue, so I'll have the shield light blue with a gold edging, grey clothes. I'm going to do their skin a lot darker. Um, the reason for that is simple. I hate I hate painting flesh. Um, I just it, I can't deal with it. So if I do it nice nice and dark, so it'll be a dark brown, um, it'll basically just be easier. So that's what they're going to be like. Um, I'll put some other extra, other different colours in. So I've got like the feathers on this shield here. They might be yellow or orange, and the bird will be purple or something just to get a bit of variety in there. Um, Tangles have already discussed. Gaunt Summoner. I haven't decided for him yet. Might do him. I might make him really colourful. Lots of purples and yellows and reds as well as the typical blue. Just to kind of show that he, you know, he represents a whole multitude of different powers. Um, then going back. Ogroid. Um, I'm going to make him quite dark, I think. 
almost black with his colour. Um, I'm going to wash him quite heavily. So he'll still be blue, but dark blue. Sangor Shaman will be the same colour as the, the, the Sangor and the Skyfires, but just, again, more colour on him. Uh, Exalted Flame on Chariot. He's the... I love this model. Those flames look so cool. He's going to go along the same kind of colours as the Flamers. So he'll be yellows and oranges. I'll do this Screamers at the front, the same colour as my other Screamers, so they'll look a bit like this. Mainly because I know how to do that, so it just makes it easier for me. And the flames I'll do, I'll make them look like actual flames, I think, rather than kind of pinks when they'll be oranges and black and yellow. Same with the flames underneath. Coming all the way across, I did a bit much to get the conversion up on this guy. Um, normally you just put him on foot, but I use the, there's a spare central part of a disc on there, because you use a different central bit for this model. So I decided to use the bits that go underneath and kind of put them on a disc. I kind of feel like I could use them either on a disc or just on foot and just say it looks cool. Um, but I'm quite pleased with that. I didn't like the moon face when it when I first model first came out, but actually it looks really fun. And it makes me look different to the other pink horrors, so I've gone for the moon face. He'll be pink, like these guys. Um, and again, the flames will be various colours and things. Um, and last of all, the big guy, I'm going to bring him to the front so I can look at him clearly. He's essentially going to be blue. Um, darker on the back, lighter on the front, so up the front to be a light blue. Staff, I'll do a bronze, I think, with, with gold trim on it. Wings, like I said, darker blue on the on the outside and a lighter blue on the inside. But he's one of those models, I think, that as I paint him, that's how I'll decide how I'm going to how I'm going to paint him. I'll, I'll do it as I go along almost. I'll spray him blue like these models at the back and work from there. But I tend to find when I paint these really big models that I don't really decide at the beginning how I'm going to do it. I work it as I go along and sometimes it changes as I go. So um, I'll see with him. Definitely, definitely, definitely blue will be the main colour. Um, but I might do some, I might do his heads or yellows and oranges like it's kind of on fire. It might look quite cool so his head stands out and same with the with the wand as well. If I just zoom out, there's the whole of what I consider to be my Disciples of Tazich army all the way across. I'm probably going to invest in a few more Brimstone and Blue Horrors just in case I end up taking lots of these and they split. Um, I might get some Enlightened unit of them. But this is well over two and a half thousand points, I think, here available. So I don't particularly need much more. I've got enough battle line with one, two, three, four, five, if I want to, six. I think they're battle line. They might not be, but I think they are. Um, I can split them into two and have one, two, three, four, five, six battle lines. So I've got plenty of battle line and obviously plenty of leaders. I did choice in my leaders as well. Um, like I said, I know that the Mutalith. War Shrine, Cockatrice, and Soul Grinder aren't technically in Disciples of Tzich Army, but they're just such cool models. And they look, and the reason I put these in is because they look Tzichy to me. He looks like he's just full of magic and, and twisted and change. And I put, I've got the Tzich symbol on my War Shrine as well. The Cockatrice, I just think it's it's always felt kind of Tzichy to me. It's kind of a twisted amalgamation of a couple of different creatures, and I think it works. And it's such a cool model. One of my favourites they released when they released Storm Magic. And the Soul Grind is just awesome. That's the whole army there. Um, I will probably showcase... I've got a Nurgle army that's pretty comprehensive as well that I could showcase. Um, I might do that a bit later. It takes quite a long time to get all these models out. I'm not going to do too much. That's how it is. When I've painted more of them, I'll probably do some more videos about how I've done them and how I feel. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.